This is the new and improved dependent dropdowns in Google Sheets. It's faster, stronger, handles multiple rows of input at a time, and also supports over three levels. In fact, it supports as many levels as you need. And to make it super easy to use, I've put it into a code generator tool so that you can easily copy and paste it right into your AppScript project. But wait, why did I decide to make a code generator tool instead of another tutorial video? To figure that out, let's go back in time. Dude, dude, have you seen the stats for the dependent dropdowns video? Like it's, it's just continuing to grow. I don't know what happened, but I think people are really liking this topic. Huh, yeah, yeah, I mean, people really like their spreadsheets. So I guess that's not too surprising, um, you know, you can make me more useful. People love that. Yeah, you know, I think I've been thinking about making another version of this code. Um, just because the the original one was kind of slow, um, not exactly very optimized. I, I think I can make it faster. Make make one that's a little bit better. I can probably take in more than just three levels uh, of options and give people a little bit more flexibility. I think they'd really like to learn that. I don't know. Make another like tutorial video for it. Another tutorial. I don't know, man. I don't think anybody's going to care about that. Huh? What do you mean people are not going to care? Dude, people want to learn how to make this. Do they though? Uh, yeah. Have you not seen the stats? Do they though? There's more and more people who are looking up, you know, this video, this topic, and they, they're watching a good decent chunk of it. Okay, but why do we always get comments from people asking for the code? Dude, I hate those comments. Like, what are you... Did you even bother watching the video? Just come in and you ask for like the source code. It's like, hey bro, post the code. Hey bro, where's the source code? Post the code. Source code. 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 Why do you even come into a tutorial if you're just going to ask for the code and to copy and paste into your own project? Tutorials are for learning how to make it yourself, not to copy and paste. If you want to copy and paste, go to a Q and A site like I don't know, Stack Overflow or something. Yep tons of copy pasta bandits out there okay but i still think there's people you know out there that want to learn people are still watching these tutorials and you know, they're watching a good chunk of the video almost through the entire thing so i'm sure there's people out there who want to learn yeah there's probably people out there but i still say that you shouldn't make another tutorial on this topic all right so if we don't make another video about it then how do we tell people about this new code um like this I don't get it. What are you talking about? What, what are you gesturing at? Why are you giving Baby Yoda the people's eyebrow? All right. How about how about we just build like a self-serve tool? Um, you know, one that we host on the website. Uh, we'll have some input fields and we'll generate code out. So we can make the code so that it takes in a spreadsheet for all the mappings. Doesn't matter how many dropdowns the user is going to want. We can do like one dropdown or eight or 10 or however many they need. And so what we can do is we'll set it up in a way where the code will create a trigger uh, and then use the information from the mappings to determine what dropdown options there are. And then we can also write out a bunch of instructions to let people know how they should utilize or install the code. And we'll have the input field, so they'll give us that information, it'll populate into the code template, and then they can copy and paste that into their projects. <laughs> Hold up, wait. So we're promoting copy pasta bandits now? Instead of making content on specific topics, right? Specific builds and putting it up on YouTube and then having people ask for the code, right? How about we just make really high quality content for the people who want to actually learn how to code in Google Apps Scripts, right? Or just code in general, just build things in Apps Scripts and make their own automations. Wouldn't that be a tutorial video? You know, like the ones you said we shouldn't be making? No, 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 no. Not like one of those tutorial videos where we talk at people for like 10, 20 minutes. I'm talking about uh, something that's more in depth. Uh, something where we can really dive deep into the topics and the concepts for people. Maybe something like a course. You know, it'd be nice to have like an intro course where we walk through the interface, show people how to use every single feature that's on it, you know, really explain how to use the built in library, some of the advanced services, maybe even talk about some of the best practices on building scalable 
you know, solutions from scratch. Hold up. You answered that in way too much detail. How long have you been thinking about this? Wait, wait, you didn't, did you already make this? Maybe. Do you, and you didn't even consult me? Come on, man. Uh, why would I? You're not even real. What do you mean I'm not? What the f Yep. What kind of is this? Who thinks it's oh, when I, I so swear can... to God, don't, don't Oh, jeez. All right. You're really worked up, clearly. Um, I'm going to put him into a timeout, but for all of y'all, um, please check out the courses on bootstrapping.tools if you want to learn how to make automations on your own. And also, check out this video if you want to see a full demo of the new dependent dropdowns tool. Timeout for you, buddy.